Oakland takes the lead at the top of the eighth. The solo home run. First home run of the season, 384 feet, 106.1 miles per hour exit velocity. Chris, my, Chris my, is not happy with that. And hopefully this will propel the, propel the athletics to a game one win. Do we get a replay of this? Come on now. Got to see how that... Look at that celebration there in the dugout by the Oakland Athletics. And here it is. A Google StatCast replay with a 360 cam. And that line drive all the way. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Road to the Show with Kyler Murray. I know it's been a while since we put out a video. Uh... Simply, uh, I've been having internet issues, still having internet issues today. Uh, and so I don't know if football will be coming out this week because football requires, requires me to log into the PlayStation Network. And with the internet issues, I can't log in. So I, uh, after this video, might be calling AT&T to cancel my service and calling Spectrum to get new service because AT&T can't figure it out. And it's on their end. Um, that's the, the benefit of working for a... Uh, an IT company is uh, I have network engineers that I can call on to help me try to troubleshoot my own personal issues. And I think we've come to the conclusion it is not on my end. So with that being said, we are starting the season here for Kyler Murray. Got rookie of the year last year. And uh, this uh, we're actually I think we are still technically in spring training. So we're going to sim through. Uh, we're going to advance the regular season jump in to game one of the regular season who are we playing i don't know i don't know uh let's one more time take a look at the roster i know we looked at this previously but uh let's take another look so no more Bo Bichette. we now have isaiah connor falefa so big change there ha sung kim is now our second baseman. I don't even know who our second baseman was last year. Luis Garcia, I believe he was on the team last year. Look at the DHing, 79 overall. Thomas Cox at the right field. I don't know who this guy is, but he's 83 overall. He looks old. You got Kyler in center field. Tyler Soderstrom at catcher. Caden Wallace at third. Dustin Harris, I think he's new, isn't he? Perry Ford. We got a whole new... I feel like our whole team is new. We got Brock Jones, David Fletcher at shortstop. I think him and Isaiah kind of are going to be switching out. The, well, maybe not. They're both right-handed. Uh, interesting there. Okay. Luis Matos, we had him last year. And we got some pitchers. A couple of new pitchers. I think Garrett Whitlock is new. Let's see how we perform this year. We came in second in the division last year. I think we could do the same or better this year. We're going up against the division winners right off the bat. First game of the regular season in Seattle. And couldn't ask for a better matchup to start the season. For opening. Opening day. All right. Oh, can we win this? That's the question. Can we win this? Winning day. Between the division winners and the runners up in the division. It says John Scamby and Chris Singleton there on the call, but really it's Stetson the Maverick Hughes on the call. Look at this. Oakland's preseason projections. Kyler Murray just dominated. We probably should have looked at the preseason stats, huh? Who is this guy on the left? That's not Kyler. And it's not Isaiah Connor Falefa. I don't think. Is that Isaiah? It doesn't look like it. It's Kyler. 
Is this is this last year's numbers? I think it's last year's numbers, right? Man, this is a long opening sequence. Really kind of just ready to get, get the ball rolling here. All right, George Kirby on the mound for Seattle. 32 starts last year with a 7-10 record. 3.68 ERA through 188.1 innings pitch. 195 hits given up. Here it is. What have you been waiting for? Kyler Murray's first appearance here in the regular season for this uh, this here new season. Man on first base. A little bit of speed over there. Seattle already in the lead. Wait, what are we? Where are we batting in the lineup? We batting a five hole? We are interesting. Okay, we'll drop this down a little bit. That's how much better our team has gotten this year, and I'm okay with that. Moving us down to the five spot. Oh, one is the count. George Kirby again on the mound. Kyle Murray up to the plate. He's gonna pop this one out to right field, but it's not gonna get anything for us. Do have some speed over there. Cox on first base. Unable to move him around. Look at the hat, too, boys. Texas Rangers World Series Championship hat. Couldn't be more excited about this. Coast Guard Hernandez up to the plate. Tie ball game 1-1. One one. Hit out to center field. Murray there to break, bring it in. The second base what a base hit there they're gonna they may score a run on this oh what a horrible throw that was they're going to add a couple of runs to the board here. It's now three to one, and Seattle has a runner on second base. The bleeding is real right now. Kyler, 0 for 1 today. Flew out in the second. Nobody on. What a way. Ooh, that was. Pitch was that. Kyler did get the 2026 Silver Slugger Award. Ooh, look at that cutter. Along with uh, Rookie of the Year, I believe. Oh, is that going to drop in for a base hit? I don't care how we get a base hit. As long as it's a base hit, we do. Kyler Murray now batting 500 on the season. Wasn't pretty. But it gets the job done. Can we score a run off of that? That's the question. I need uh, Tyler Soderstrom to knock us in and unsuccessful there. Top of the six now. You know, oh, yeah, we're away game, so we don't need the music anyways. Find a gap, kid. They don't like throwing me. Oh, okay, well, that's a fastball. I was to say, they don't like throwing me a fastball. There it is. 2026 Rookie of the Year. Kyler. This pitcher is kind of hard to hit. He's all over the place. Okay. Come on. One and two is the count. Down by two runs in the sixth. I can't get a solid hit off of this guy. Now Wow, that's hard. He hit out to center field. Murray on his way back. He's going to get there just in time, but they're going to send the runner over to third, and Murray going to hit his cutoff, man. It is a high ball game in the bottom of the seventh. Three, 
Murray. We need Murray to step it up. He's got to get a solid hit. They have a new pitcher on the mound. Chris Met. Chris. Chris Met. Oh, baby, baby. Get out of here. That's gone. And Oakland takes the lead at the top of the eighth. The solo home run. First home run of the season, 384 feet, 106.1 miles per hour exit velocity. Chris, my, Chris, my, is not happy with that. And hopefully this will propel the, propel the athletics to a game one win. Do we get a replay of this? Come on now. Got to see how that... Look at that celebration there in the dugout by the Oakland Athletics. And here it is. A Google StatCast replay with a 360 cam. And that line drive all the way. What a great way to start this season. I, I shouldn't have switched my camera because y'all missed what the uh, stats were up on the screen there. Oh, deep. They're hitting the ball deep. Not deep enough. It's 380 out here in right center field. The bat, the right and Athletics take game one. That's what we needed to see. Seattle won the division last year. We can't have that again this year. Kyle Murray going two for four with a home run and an RBI. And he's going to look to continue things here in game two. We get the opening ceremonies kicked off for game two. This three game series. I think it's a three game series. I really don't. I haven't looked at it. So, Oakland 1 and 0 on the season. Seattle 0 and 1. Who do we got? Logan Gilbert on the mound today. 32 starts last year with a 14 and 10 record. 3.53 ERA through 214 innings pitch. He gave up 214 hits too, so he averaged a hit per inning. Interesting there. Julio Rodriguez up to the plate. Pretty good ball player in his own right. He's also batting 500. That that average is going to dip down just a hair after that pop out to center field. So here we are. Kyle Murray coming up for his first appearance in game two. This one. Tie ball game. Nobody on. Nobody out. He is uh, still batting in the five hole today. Yeah. High outside, but they're going to call that one a strike. Alamari has six RBIs in his career against Seattle. One of them coming last night. That one high outside again, but that one is a ball. One and one is the count. And we were gonna ground out the source. Oh, Boba Shit moved over to Seattle. Oh, one of my favorite from uh, last year's team. Unfortunately, he's now on the rivals. Not happy about that, but we probably had a good little conversation here uh, at the beginning of the two games. Man on second base. Do they send him? No, they don't. Seattle in the lead, one to nothing. Have two runners on base, and there's two away. Let's see if we can keep it that way. Hey, let's go now one time. The center field, number one. Tyler Murray. Tie ball game, one to one now. Logan Gilbert still on the mound. Oh, why am I swinging at that? Oh, man. I thought it was going to be a low fastball, and it broke at the last second. They're going to get a double 
play. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Still tie ball game. We're going to move on to the top of the seventh. Kyler Murray over two today with two ground outs. We've got to be a little more patient at the plate. He's been swinging at those early pitches. It's uh, resulted in two ground outs to the infield. Man on second base and nobody on and nobody out. This opportunity really take advantage. Ooh, good favorable call there for Kyler as that one hits the black. And I'm going to rule it a ball. That's the lower part. Not really the black. The lower part of the, the strike zone, I should say. We got some speed at second base as well. I cannot get a solid hit. We might. We should be tagging up on that, though. So, sacrifice. He's going, to th he's going home, and he, he scores. They made a throwing error. Let's get another look at this one because they made a bad throw to third base. He went wild out into the outfield, and, and it's going to result in a run score. They're going to roll it in error. Wow. That, I mean, that's not even close. Where is he throwing that ball? It's not even close. And then he misses it. So Oakland in the lead now. 2-1 in the bottom of the seventh. Cal Riley up to the plate. He's over 2 today. Hard hit out to right center field. This is going to be trouble. Murray can't get there. It's a ground roll double. And that saves us, actually, because that runner's got to stop at third base. But they have runners on second and third. Nobody out. Murray just couldn't quite get there. They're going to win the game. They're going to win the game. That's that's not, not at all what I was hoping for. The series is tied one-to-one -one now as we're going to go into game three. Big game here. You know, these opening series are always important, I feel like. Really sets the tone for the rest of this season. Murray 0 for 3 today. Not what we wanted. But I feel like Oakland is really competing. I mean, these games have been close. Really matched up evenly with Seattle, who won the division last year. And, you know, keep in mind, we are in Seattle. We're going to have a little bit better time when it comes to uh, playing at home in Oakland slash Las Vegas. Nice little intro here. This one must be on the MLB network. Last year from Casillo, 32 starts with a 12 and 8 record, 3.7 ERA through 201.2 innings pitch, 181 hits given up with a 1.2 whip, 62 walks, 184 strikeouts. And Murray stepping up to the plate now in the top of the second. Nobody on, nobody out. This game is for all the marbles. I say that, it's, it's opening series of the season, so it's really not. You know, we get a long season ahead of us. Oh, that's the pitch I got. I need a swing at that next time. Tyler Murray, 2026 All-Star in his rookie season. Hard hit. Second baseman's there to bring it in. Just had to take a step over to his left. The right Oscar Hernandez. The Oscar. The Oscar. Go. He's about three twenty-five. Is that what? Is that what I saw there? Oh, 
Two up, we have Ford, Kiner, Falefa, and somebody else. But we're going to fast forward. I keep spitting all over the place. I wonder if you wash these things. Cal Riley up to the plate. Seattle in the lead, one to nothing. Bottom of the third. This one hit softly out to right center field, mostly center field, and Murray's there to bring it in. Batting done. The third baseman. Hey, get your pitch. Make it happen right now. All right. Look at these two pitches. Look at these two pitches. Ooh, inside for a ball. 1-0. Kyler in his last game went 0-3. for 3. We got to turn that around today. See what we can get out of this one. I feel like the team goes the way of Kyler Murray. However Kyler plays, that's how the rest of the team plays. He really is the, uh, the anchor to this team. That's not, that's not, that's not good. The bat, the catcher, Tyler Soderstrom. I'm just, that's not good. The batter, number six, second baseman, Jonathan. <sighs> okay, it's still, it's only one to nothing though. So we're, we're good, you know. Shallow hit. That might drop in for a hit. Now the shortstop's going to be there. I'd say a kind of left that comes in with it. Do up. We have Wallace, Harris, and Ford. Harris and Ford. Harris and Ford. Get it? Oh, my gosh. Ah. Uh, these dad jokes. What happens to you when you have a kid, right? Julio. Julio up to the plate. He's over two today. Just like Kyler. Shall hit center field. Murray. Gonna be get this one like a can of corn. I've been saying that since like the very first MLB of the show. When are they gonna start showing this year's stats? 299 last year. 185 OPS. 38 home runs. We got Luis Castillo still on the mound. Wow, it's still on the mound. We got a man on second base. We got that speed over second base. Would love to knock him in here and get a tie ball game. Milestone to watch. 99 career wins for Luis Castillo. He's about to hit 100 if he wins this game. We don't want to. We don't want to have it on our watch. Oh, he hits the pitcher. Slide. We move the rope. Wow, what a hard hit ball back up the middle. We might have knocked Castillo out of the game and put that runner over at third. Let's take a look. Let's see what happens here. He's having a hard time. Uh, it looks like he's going to stay in the game. The center fielder, number 34, Julio. Oakland District leads, and we affected his ability to pitch. Oakland now three to one big winning here in the bottom of the eighth. Ooh, making a bad play on this one, but he's gonna recover nicely. That's gonna be the end of the eighth. Murray, Soderstrom, and Wallace do up. In the top of the ninth with a three to one lead over Seattle. Tyler. Kyler still he's ruled over three, but he moved that runner over to third in the last last at bat. Okay, that was a sinker. Wow, okay. Inside her ball. Oh, Chris, man. I hope they bring Chris Matt back in. Well, he had a jack to hit a bomb off of him last night. No, two nights ago. All right, hit back up the middle, and that one's going to drop in for a base hit. We're going to get things let off here in the top of the night. Runner on first base. The catcher, Tyler 
Soderstrom. Kyler hopefully will knock us in. He's batting 444. Good stuff for him. And Oakland takes the victory. That's what I like to see. Kyler won for four. And guess who's in the lead in the division to start the season off? Here's truly the Oakland Athletics. Something we didn't really see much last year. Glad to see it here today. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode. I think this hat might be good luck, so we're going to have to wear it for the rest of the season. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like the baseball content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know it was uh, we didn't put out any baseball last week. I apologize. Trying to get things worked out in the recording schedule and the internet just didn't align. It would work and it wouldn't work and it work and it wouldn't work. And I tried to record as much as I could. But anyways, guys, I really enjoy it. Thanks again. And until next time, y'all have a good one. Peace.